here looking at the phone like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have been, I left work. I had to stop at my booth to drop something off for my class Saturday. And I came home and I dropped my stuff off and I ran upstairs and here I am. Hi everybody. I don't know if anybody's there yet because I don't have my computer up yet either. Oh. This is just going to take a minute. I'm sorry. I hope nobody's waiting. Oh, there we go. Now I need to turn the volume off so you don't have to listen to... So when you come on, please, please, please say hello. Tell me where you're saying hello from, where you're watching from. I'd love to get to know you and where you're at and how the weather is in your area. It is very cold. It is cold enough that I had to use my heater in my car. But I'm not complaining because I love, I love the winter. And um, I actually wore a coat yesterday and um, I kind of wore it a little bit today, but not much because, yeah, I like the cold. <laughs> so, um, hi, Audra here from Chalk Couture. And I don't know why I'm holding on to my disinfectant wipes. <laughs> and tonight I am going to show you a little bit about what Chocotour is. So um, the first thing I would like to do is show how some of our surfaces are reusable. And I'd also like to show real quick like how to chalk. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you a little bit about the ink as well while we're at it. So, when I was trying to decide what to do today, I took into consideration all of this. <laughs> oh, it has been crazy. <laughs> and I haven't had time. I, had, I used to have... Um, inventory all over here and I pulled it down so I can make a list for a craft show so all that's empty and then everything else is just kind of thrown in over here and it's just total chaos <laughs> so you will get why I picked the transfer that I picked for this but first I'm going to show you about ghosting and reusing reusing washing off the chalk and ghosting and and how you can reuse your surfaces and I'm waiting for it to come up on the screen I'm sure you can see there's some ghosting on here. I used this board December 4th for a craft fair that I was in. And uh, I washed off the, the chalk paste and then I came home and put my stuff aside and life has been a whirlwind, whirlwind ever since. And I never got a chance to finish cleaning this. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this so I can start using it, especially for chalk couture. My chalk, my new club couture, ooh. I didn't realize my camera wasn't standing on all the three legs. So sorry about that. I hope that didn't make anybody nauseous or dizzy. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't just fall over. Um, so we'll do that real quick. And then I have this little board and base that I have chalked on. Make yourself at home. Clean my kitchen. And... Good things take time. And then, hi, Linda. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> okay, so, um, and I've already got ribbon on the base, and I'm not going to take it off because I like this ribbon, and it's got this little, you know, sage-colored uh, ribbon along with the lace to match this. And I'll show you how to clean one of these off. Hello, Amy. It's so good to see you. Okay, ladies. Linda, I know what your weather was. What do you got going on, Amy? We're like really cold out here and I'm loving it. It's winter. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to wash this side off and redo it. So the first thing I want to show you, and I rushed in here, so I'm, of course I'm unprepared, is how to remove this ghosting that's been sitting there, as well as how to clean this off. So first we'll clean this off and then we'll deal with the ghosting. 
So in order to do this, I'm going to lower the camera down to the table so you can see what I got going on on the table instead of looking at my hair. Okay? <laughs> so if you tend to get dizzy, close your eyes for just a second and I will let you know when the camera is positioned so you don't have to look at it. Okay, here we go. Going down. Not just yet. Let me scooch this part of the tripod down a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Now if your eyes are closed, you can open them now. All right. So, good things take time. Make yourself at home. Clean my kitchen. I'm going to leave this one on here because it's a bit of a theme that I'll have going on for both sides of this board. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. So I'm taking some water and all I'm doing is spraying it on to the surface. Just like that. Lind oh! <laughs> you cracked me up. What's nice about these surfaces, when, when you're able to do this, you don't have to go out and keep buying things. If, especially like if you have a small, um, a small place. This has been on here for a very long time, probably over a year. I think about a year and a half. No, 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 I'm lying. Almost a year. In March, it'll be a year. I put this on here back in March and I never changed it over so I'm taking my paste scraper after I put some water on it and uh, just kind of scraping it off it doesn't come off until you make the effort to take it off if you wash it with water you'll smudge it because it, 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 um, it's water soluble the chalk paste is water soluble But if you just dry dust it, it'll be fine until you make the effort to take it off. And this is being a little more stubborn than usual because I have had it on here a long, long time. But it's coming off as you'll see. So, most of it is off. As you can see, there's a little bit of ghosting. We'll get that off. Is everybody having fun so far? I know it's day one of the event. I don't know how many people are out there working first before they're playing. Some of us are not playing while we're working. At least that's going to be my story. And I'm going to stick to that story. Because, you know, i got to keep my job. <laughs> Now this is our board eraser, and it comes in a pack of two, it can be found on the website. And here we have it, it's just like new. So now we're ready to put another design on here. This is still here. I did get some water over there, I'm going to take that water off so I don't lose my star. But it's ready to go. Now I want to show you about the ghosting real quick one. This is our Aiden frame. It's chalkboard here as well as magnetic, so you could um, embellish with things that have magnets if you wanted. And I'm sure you can see all the little designs on here from when I was doing this at the craft fair. And again, I never got around to washing it. Shame on me. So I just want to show you the magic of the board eraser. All you have to do is put some water on it. and wash it with your board eraser. I use these board erasers to clean my transfers as well. They're great for cleaning your transfers. And 
here we have it. Good as new. Ready for the next use. I just got to give it a minute to dry. <laughs> so now it's ready for when I'm wanting to do my club couture, which will probably end up being my next life here in this event. And I'm going to shoot for tomorrow, but maybe Saturday. Like magic. There we go. All right. So this is an egg board that you can also get on the, get from Chalk Couture. I love this board so much. I have two. I have two. I'm refusing to let them go. A friend of mine tried to get me to sell her this one. I wouldn't do it, though. <laughs> so I have this, and I have this, and I love to play with them. I love to take one to craft shows and demonstrate on it and leave the other one here to redo over and over and over again. Or switch them out. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now, I have this on here. And what I want to do in order to keep it from getting scratched off while I'm working on it, so I'm just going to lay it on the towel. Just like that. It doesn't matter which direction I go with this new transfer because it's going to go the long way instead of the short way. Okay? And the one I chose for today, <laughs> bless this mess. <laughs> So I'm going to put this here, and I'm not going to do a whole lot of color. I just want to use white. Um, the purpose of tonight is just to give you an idea of what Chocotour is about. Okay, what are transfers? What is paste? What is ink? You know, what what are some of the accessories that we use? That's all this is about. And so tonight, instead of doing multicolors and two tone and all that, I'm just going to do white. So. We take our transfer, the first thing you do when you get your transfer and you're ready to use it is write something on the back. That way when, you, um, when you're done washing this and it dries and you want to put it back, you're sure to put it on the correct side. I've accidentally put it on this side before, huge mistake. It will stick, really, really stick. And I almost ruined my transfer trying to take it off. Lesson learned. <laughs> if you forget. All you have to do is take a look at the, at the um, backing, and you'll notice how high the gloss is on here, how shiny it is, and how it's matte on this side. You want to make sure you place it back on the shiny side, okay? And I'm taking my transfer. If it's a brand new transfer, you need to do this. You need to put it on a towel, on a shirt, on a pair of jeans, on your fuzzing cloth, whatever you have. So that you can get some fuzz on it. And so it's called fuzzing. You're fuzzing your transfer, basically. This is an old one that I've used multiple times. So it, as you can see, it's not really sticking to the tramp, to the fuzzy cloth, cloth, which means it won't be a bear to get it off of the surface when I'm done. Okay? I'm going to bring this up a little bit. I don't want to go too low because when I slide it back into the um, base, you know, I don't want to cover up some of the design. And so, and honestly, I, I just want it to be simple because I have this bow right here, okay? So I don't need a lot of extra up here on the sign. So I'm just going to do it simple. And once you have your transfer placed on your surface, you want to make sure you work the air bubbles out. And I have found it works best, that's a little bit of glue, to work from the center out. That way you're not pushing the bubbles around on the transfer, you're just pushing them out this way if there are any air bubbles. The reason you don't want air bubbles is because um, when you do your paste, if the screen has an air bubble under it and it's lifted up, the paste will bleed and your, your design will not come out looking sharp and clear. Okay? So, no air bubbles, it's all good. Tonight I'm using my bright white. It is bright white, right? Bright, right? Oh, I already have a, <laughs> I already have a squeegee. I'm using my bright white chalk paste, our new creamy dreamy formula. I have the old stuff in there, but I'm not going to use the old stuff. I'm going to use the new stuff today because I want you to see how smooth and creamy it is. It's awesome stuff. All you have to do is scoop some of it out, place it on your transfer, and spread it across the screen. And you know where the screen is because you can see the color of the surface coming through on the screen. Just like buttering a piece of toast. 
and you don't end up using a whole lot of this. And as you will see as I go along, at some point when I'm done getting this into all of the screen areas, you don't want to press really hard. You just want to kind of spread it over there. You don't want to do this and go up and down and push into it because then you'll you'll smear it up under the screen and it'll just end up bleeding and it again will not be a clear sharp transfer. Once you're done covering up all, all the screened areas, all you have to do is I hold my squeegee straight up and down and scrape off the excess. It goes back in the jar. Here's where we save. This stuff lasts quite a long time because you don't use a whole lot of it. And you're just scraping it off, put, putting it back in the jar. Just like that. Okay. And then when you're done, you just peel your transfer. Oh, let me go this way. Just peel it off. Now, you could just rip it off and go, ta-da, and it'll be done. But I like to go slow because sometimes I don't get all the way to the bottom. Or there may be like a little, you know, a spot that just gets missed. It just happens. And so I tend to go a little on the slow side. That way, if when I'm pulling it up, if I see a mistake, I can just drop it fix the mistake, and then start pulling it up again. So I just go a little bit slow so I can make sure. It's a lot easier than trying to reline it back up when you're completely done. And there it is. Bless this mess. I love it. Then I'm going to place this over here. When I'm done with this live, I'm going to take this to my bathroom because I'm upstairs and that's where I live. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the sink and I'm going to wash this off with cool to lukewarm water. I'm going to wash this side first using my board eraser. And then I'm going to flip it over and wash the sticky side. And then I'm going to take this transfer and lay it on a towel, sticky side up until it dries. And then once it's dry, I'm going to place it back onto its backing, put it in my little binder where I keep all my uh, transfers, and it'll be there for me when I'm ready to use it again. I can't tell you how many times I've used that. Okay, so now I just want to take my blow dryer. I also have a heating tool right here. You can use this, one of these. I just happen to have my blow dryer plugged in, <laughs> so I'm gonna use this. And I'm just doing this for a second, just to make sure it's dry before I mess with it. That way I don't smudge it you know, while I'm placing it in the stand. It's dry. Then I put it back. So now, there it is. I can do this if I want to keep it in my room. And you know, you know that whole, I don't know if you've seen this on Reels where they go, oop, right? And then everything's fixed and clean and wonderful. Well, that didn't work for me. Didn't work for me. So now I have to, <laughs> I'm going to put this sign back there behind me and maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll clean the mess for me. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> so that's that. And then the other thing I wanted to show you real quick like tonight, this is going to be a very short live because I do have a seven o'clock phone meeting. Oh, and I didn't warn you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And it's not right. Let me, let me fix the angle. Hold on one moment, please. Fix it just a little bit more. Close your eyes if you need to. I don't normally do this at the end. I normally just leave it, you know, facing down. Wait for the computer. There we go. Okay. So there it is. And just, I mean, it's been 15 minutes and I'm completely done. And I even showed you other things and how to, you know, clean, clean surfaces. And so now this can be, you know, used like this. Or it can be used like this. That's what's great about some of these surfaces. You can't do that with the Aiden frame, but that's okay. The Aiden frame can be washed off. And I don't know if you noticed, I'm wearing this shirt that says Chalking is my cardio. And it's got my, thank you, thank you Amy and Linda. And it's got my little logo, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> and I got a little thing on the back. 
that was done with our ink and actually it was done with this particular ink this is the shimmer silver ink and I love this stuff and at one point during this event I will show you how to permanently put a design on maybe a shirt or actually maybe even something like this that I picked up in thrift store so that basically in a nutshell is what started chocolate door put this back to bless this mess set it on my shelf and hope it does the job <laughs> So that's it. If you have any questions, please, please just drop them in the comments. If you're watching the replay, please push, put hashtag replay in the comments. Where are you watching from? I'd love to see where everybody who's in this event is, is coming from. That'd be a lot of fun to see. And um, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Linda and Amy, for joining me. And um, I will see you tomorrow, I'm sure. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.